there, everybody. This is Sandra Bear Davis, the Appalachian Medicine Woman. I'm up in Sapphire, North Carolina, where we did the spirit song over at Old Baldy. So this is a tree that I fell madly in love with recently, and it's an ancient old willow tree that is simply loaded with faces. Uh, faces in this tree. Personalities in this tree, divas in this tree, fairies in this tree, so many spirits in this old tree. I have a huge affinity for trees, particularly willows, and I adore cedars, and of course oaks. Uh, I love old trees, but an ancient willow like this, because it works with the element of water, which is a feminine uh, energy works with the sacred direction of the west, the element of water, particularly resonates with me. I'm a the bear uh, medicine woman of the Bear Medicine Lodge out of Old Fort North Carolina, as well as born under the brown bear moon, and I'm a bear, bear medicine woman, <laughs> descendant of the bear clan. Okay, so I'm all about the west and the water, and this, and the bear, and this willow just absolutely called to me the spirit of this beautiful ancient old willow and I wanted to show you guys really kind of how to connect to a tree. There is a consciousness within this tree. There is an, an intelligence within this tree. Uh, this, this ancient tree has a life force in it and, a, and an intelligence and you can tap into these, these, these beautiful energy. And you can learn so much from a tree because they're called the standing people because they've been standing in one place for ages and ages and they see things, you know. And they have a consciousness that they are really lonely for people that can remember how to communicate with them. Believe that if you will or not, I know it to be so. The trees long to communicate with human beings that have a raised consciousness enough to understand that we can communicate with everything. Uh, you can communicate with the boo-boo on your knee, much less an ancient tree. Um, and so I want to show you that I am a true tree hugger. I'm going to hug this tree, and I'm going to ask, and to send it love, there's reciprocity with nature. You send out love, and then you receive love. You can't truly love anything until you're able to give it out, but also able to receive it. So I want to give this tree love, and I want to receive love from it. As well as I'm going to stand with my back against it, because I have low back issues. It's a birth defect in my family, and I, hey, happily inherited, I guess. <laughs> well, it teaches me to slow down when I need to slow down. So I'm going to hug this tree and send it some love, okay? And Charlie's going to show you some of these really cool Charlie's my husband, by the way. He's going to show you some of the really cool faces in this tree. Um, and I'm going to hug it, and then I'm going to put my back up against it. And I just want to show you a little bit of how to do that. You may already know it. This may be no, no new thing to you. But you might be embarrassed to do it because tree huggers get a bad rap. But tree huggers are the best people on the planet. <laughs> hey, big man, my dude. healing from my back and the tree itself will tell you where to if, if that's okay and where to stand oh see that's terribly comfortable where where the information I receive to stand is just like I've got in the swag of my back just this wonderful energy flowing in so I'm going to ask the tree may I release my pain And would you help me have, infuse me with healing energy? And this is a beautiful old grandmother tree. And so she was just like any grandmother. So can I ask you a honey? But as the law of reciprocity works, I also offer healing. And I offer love to the tree. 
in whatever way I can. And, you know, today it may be simply talking to people and communicating with other humans, but we can talk to trees. We're meant to. We're meant to talk to rocks, and we're meant to talk to the animals. We've forgotten what we know, but it's not far from us. It's a skill easily remembered. It's in your cellular memory. It's in all of our cellular memory. We're only a few generations away from being really natural, and we're going back to it. Because we have to. Modern society is killing us. It's killing these trees. It's killing Mother Earth. But us humans, we're the ones doing the damage. We have to come back into balance, all right? We have to love our mother. We have to love the creator that gave us all of this. We have to learn how to love each other and work in peace. There are no dividing lines on this globe called the earth. That's man-made division, I know. And so, when you have time, just sit with your back up against the tree and communicate with that tree. Send it love. Many times you'll be gifted something, maybe a branch or, or something beautiful that the tree wants you to have of itself. Always offer your gratitude. For everything in life, we have to offer gratitude and thanks. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Just a mama bear moment of tree hugging. So while Charlie takes more pictures of the tree, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to stand here and hug the shit out of the tree. Spark is very healing too. It's very nice to walk in on the tree. Charlie, have you heard the tree today? No, not yet. <laughs> I bet you will soon. Okay. Shell. Thanks for coming by.